You've probably heard of English sayings like what goes around, comes around. Easy does it. Or the early bird catches the worm. Well, in Africa, especially Zambia, we have many proverbs and sayings. Interestingly, these proverbs and sayings are full of meaning and rich in lessons. We'll look at 100 plus Bemba sayings and we're going to look at what they mean. See how many of these you can identify? And let's see if you can finish them off before I actually do. Number one. Kabusha. Takulodobowa. The one who consulted never got intoxicated by mushrooms. So basically this means that you can avoid disasters by consulting from others. Number two. So only the person experiencing something feels and understands the pain. So if a person is complaining of sickness or a problem, don't underestimate or undermine their pain because the pain is felt by that person. Number three. Umukulu tapusa kevo. So another person can miss a target with a stone, but they will always be right when it comes to matters of life. So then, it's good to get advice from older ones. Number four. Imiti palamene taibula kukwesana. Imiti palamene taibula kukwesana. People who live together, especially married care couples, will disagree at one time or another. But that does not mean that they don't love each other. So even though married people may disagree, they still love each other. They may still love each other. Number five. One finger cannot remove lies. You can never always do things by yourself. You will need assistance from others at one time or another. Number six. Luse, loa lilin kwale. Basically, this means mercy cost a close life. So mercy or compassion for others may at times land you into trouble. So be careful with the people you help. Number seven. Ishoko liyamu no ve. Tariende luang. So your friend's lack of fortune may not always come your way. If your friend experiences luck, don't expect the same luck to come your way. Number eight. Lala nkoko me. Epatali. So just enjoy a bit. Things that you want to happen soon. So this saying emphasizes patience. Number nine. Pirikiti pirikiti. Tena shakantu. Koma male male. This is the equivalent to the English saying, easy does it. So don't rush. Just be patient. Number ten. Kwapa. Tachira kubeya. So, the armpit will always be under the shoulder. So, always respect those in authority or having a higher ranking than you. Number 11. Umula ndumume, wa So, out of nowhere, you can always find yourself with a case to answer at one time or another. So, legal cases. Or crime sometimes just find you. You may just pick them up out of nowhere. So this calls for you to understand others as well. 
For example, if somebody bashes you, don't be upset. Don't be upset, too upset. If you're involved in a car accident, don't be too upset. Because at another time, you might be the one who might bash into another person. Number 12. Ulubilo loa mugi pi kubangirila. So a short person can make it in time by being early. So if you are slow at something or don't have enough resources, don't procrastinate. The secret is starting off a bit early. Starting working at something earlier. Number 13. Muyanao ni pachungulo. So if you have a journey tomorrow, start preparing the evening before. So this one encouraging, encourages preparation in advance. Number 14. Ukutangita pe kufika. So those who start things early will not always be the ones to succeed first. So starting off a bit late doesn't mean that you'll never be successful. So if you start early, don't think you'll be the first one to succeed. And if you start something late, well, you might be surprised you'll be the one to be successful first. Number 15. Akawa njirile kanwinaya lingama. This is equivalent to the English saying which says, the early bird catches a worm. So it encourages being early and swift at doing things. Number 16. Akanzo ni kafuirire muibomba. So the shy person died in the crowd. So this one encourages us to open up, express ourselves and air our concerns instead of dying inside. So you should defend yourself and come out. Number 17. Pachahu wetapo wishive. So when you're drowning and you see people in the, on an island, you call out someone you know. That's when you're in trouble, call out to someone you know. They might help you. Calling out on strangers at times may not help much. So if you want help, you first go to people you know. Number 18. Imbila ya mushi. Kawaya sukila. So when a, an accusation is aired to the public, just keep silent and don't answer. When you answer something addressed to the public, well, you'll be the first suspect. Number 19. Akano kamila ndu kala yebedela. So a guilty person will usually expose oneself. Number 20. Umusuko ubi. So one bad fruit can ruin the reputation of the entire forest. Number 21. So you can never compete with someone better than you. You need to know your place. Number 22. So a person benefits from his artwork. Number 23. So this one basically emphasizes the wisdom in ignoring some things. So some things you just have to let them go. Number 24. Eko sulile, eko panoko. So someone in despise may end up marrying your, ma your mother. So don't despise anyone because the person you're despising might end up being your master at one time. Number 25. Vamukolo inga wafula, tabucha wangu. So too many opinions in a discussion may obscure or unnecessarily Delay a discussion and a conclusion at the end of it all. 
number 26 chimbwi afuire chantanga na nama so being indecisive may land you in trouble so you have to be decisive you cannot divide yourself in two you have to decide on taking one thing and leaving the other number 27 uakalema takaleka so it's difficult for a person with a habit to let go of it number 28 uakwensho bushiko bamutasha elo bwacha So this one talks about being appreciative and thankful. So sometimes you may be appreciative and thankful of the help you receive today, even to later when you realize its significance. Number 29. Ololumbi lwamulanda kukakata. So you should protect and defend yourself even when the odds are against you. Number 30. O kulubwango ko masako. So even a simple person can be respected in society because of his position or wealth. So even a small person can have great value if there is something surrounding him which brings him honor and respect. Number 31. So too much complaints makes even a sufficient house small. So too many complaints may introduce problems that don't even exist. So don't complain too much. Number 32. Ubushukubumo tabubo shanzofu. Oto some people say ubushukubumo tabuno tabubo shanama. So this one says shows that meat cannot go bad in one day. So you can endure some things for a bit of time. Number 33. Oh manafiala. Oh minalimo. So when you have an opportunity, perform it at your best. Number 34. Umwa na shenda. So a child who doesn't visit other homes thinks the mother is the best cook in the world. So this one encourages us to be adventurous and to try new things. Don't stick to the same old things. Number 35. We pata mukaya, umwene akaya. So don't hate somebody you are familiar with. Well, just because the visitors have come because the visitors will go one day. So when new things come, don't despise people or things you've been with for a long time. Number 36. Amano yafuma mu ifesa yaya muchulu. So you can get good advice even from those who are younger than you or those who are inferior to you. So those who have senior positions, those who are superior to others, we don't reject advice from those who seemingly are lower than you because sometimes it can be good advice which you can use for your own benefit. Number 37. Umupama pamu. Watu lilengoma. This one encourages perseverance. So if you keep hitting the drum on the same spot, it will eventually make a hole. It can break. So this one encourages us to persevere. If you persevere and you keep on trying, what you want will eventually happen. Number 38. Amano yalubuli yalubuli yesa pano ma So plans and wisdom sometimes come when opportunity has already passed. So it's a lesson in life. Number 39. Ubika abiki la bonse. No songa asongi la bonse. So this one 
She was like, when you save, don't think you consume it alone. Well, this used to happen to a lot of us when we were young. You keep something and then when you're about to eat it or your friend come and they want a part of it. When they consume their part earlier on, and our parents would tell us that you're supposed to share when you keep something, you share it with others. Number 40, Munda Nimochabu. Well, children from the same mother will have different personalities and lifestyles. Number 41, Ichobe. Chisela ushafi, tachirusha. Something that is yours can be disgusting, but you may never vomit it out. Or this is an equivalent to the English saying which says blood is thicker than water. So you can never completely end family ties. And this one is a bit similar to number 42, which says, Umuto walupwa, usenda mafie tawitika. This is equivalent to blood is thicker than water. So even though you may have differences with family, family will always be family. Number 43, Batila kafialueni, tawatila kapala neni. So if you're born from the same family, you should know, no, you should not all exhibit same qualities. So within the family, there will be different qualities. Number 44. Mukashu wandi njipikire sembe. Ifintu kwesha vesha. So this one encourages never to give up. So you need to keep trying. If this doesn't work, try another thing. Eventually, something will work. Number 45. wava mukutui. Life is in your ears. Children should be obedient to live good lives. Number 46. Akabomba kaviye kamunda. Oh, this emphasizes that for you to have strength, you need to eat. So for you to work, for you to have strength to work, you need to eat. Number 47. Taipaya wamina mate. So hunger cannot kill someone who swallows even little food. No matter how small a meal is, it is important. So even a small meal is important. If you can offer someone a small meal, do it. Because it can preserve their lives. Number 48. Akakuli atakachepa. Akachepa, kakufuala. So you can always share food no matter how little there is. And like clothes. So small clothes may not always fit when you share. But food you can always share. So this one encourages sharing even the little that we have. Number 49. Ichikwanka, wachimwena, kumampala nya. So you can foresee if someone will help you or not from their current actions. Number 50. Upunangani, tawulisha kasuma. So laziness will never earn you a good meal. So this one encourages hard work. Number 51. Nkaya nkaya apu ilobunga. So a visitor who says I will go tomorrow finished all the food in the house. So equivalent to tomorrow never comes. So this one discourages procrastination. Never say I'll do something tomorrow. What you can do tomorrow, you can do today. Number 52. Umulembo wa chupoba wa puiri So the name of a stupid person was finished by others just asking to test. So this one shows that you have to be generous, but don't give everything you have to others. You'll be left with nothing. Number 53. So in straightforward, never underestimate a man. Number 54. So man taught a line to aim for the neck. 
So our one inductions can tell people who are good towards us to even be violent. Number 55. So a wise person's actions must be smarter than that of a Tao person. So a smart person never lives like a Tao person. Number 56. So to achieve our goals at times, we have to be gentle. Number 57. Obviously everybody is finishing this one off. So So children are the future. Number 58. So do not to be deceived by smiles. Teeth are just bones. A smiling person might have something different behind his mind. So don't be deceived by smiles. Number 59. So you should experience something to know the challenges. Number 60. So don't live in the past. Things change. Number 61. So past successes cannot solve current problems. What is in the past is in the past. You cannot tell a child who is crying because the child is hungry and tell them that, you know, last year, 10 years ago, we had so much food that Children, child will not stop crying. They want food right there and then. So past successes cannot solve current problems. Number 62. So it's better to be two than alone. So it's better to work the two of you than alone. Number 63. So suffering gives wisdom. Number 64, umwana takula kuli nina. So a child will always be a child to the mother. Number 65, mayom papa na ine kakupapa. Our parents take care of us today and will take care of them when they grow up. So they take care of us when we are young, and when they are old, we take care of them. Number 66. Umwana kasembe kalakoba wakomeka. Wakomeka. So even when children wrong and hate you, you still take care of them and continue trying to correct them. You don't get fed up of your children. So even if they are wrong or they are naughty, yeah, you still try to correct them. Number 67. Insaka. Isaka wa lipo. So those who partake of a meal are those present when the meal is ready. So opportunity covers those who are available. Number 68. 68. So your friends travel today may be yours the next day. So when your friend is in trouble, try to help them. Tomorrow, you might be the one asking for help. Number 69. So a person who falls down always has an excuse. So a person who fails usually comes up with an excuse. Number 70. So something borrowed will always be sweet. So you should learn to retain it. Don't think if you keep it for a day or two, uh, then it will be less sweet. So something borrowed is always sweet. Retain, learn to retain it back. Number 71. So if you want a peaceful environment, you take the first step to make peace. Number 72, Sungum Koshi, Ugulungu, 
the wire here. So secure your neck. A necklace is easy to get. So you should take care of your life. Number 73. So a bed sits on a tree it prefers. You cannot force someone to accept something they don't like. Number 74. So use what you have and not what you don't have. Similar to the English saying which, which goes like, a bend in, a, in the hand is better than two in the bush or in the forest. Number 75. So you know where you come from, but you do not know where you are going. So whenever you are going to a new place, prepare yourself because you don't know what to expect when you are there. Number 76. Mukolwe pakukula haifuna ipindo. So be careful in your youth. Because during your youth, you can make irreversible mistakes. Number 77. Uchenje shiwanko ko pungwa tasaka mana. Well, what does this one mean? Well, let's see what you're going to say in the comments below. Number 78. Ubu shiku sheme ni chimbala chilo shichan. So the day you are unfortunate, even cold leftover food can burn you. So sometimes, well, yeah, yeah, unfortunate meets us in our lives. Number 79. Umu chelo kufina wa umfa kuba wasi ndile. So the weight of salt is felt by the bear. So somebody who has gone through a problem can tell you what it's like. Number 80. So friendship and bonds in friendship can be stronger than even your yeah, family. Number 81. So people with opposing views cannot work well together. Number 82. Uwa kanwa. So when you are free to ask from other people, you will never get lost. You get help. Number 83. So those with authority or in rulership can usually do whatever they please. Number 84. Well, this is similar to the English saying which says what goes around comes around. Number 85. So this um, one basically shows that those who give will also receive. So if you give someone, well, they also give you in return. They also give you something in return. So there is a circle of giving. Once you give, you also receive. Number 86. So it's better you eat when the food is available. You don't know what might happen later. Number 87. Inanda ushilala wakumbo mutenge. So you don't know what goes on in the house you don't sleep in. So be content with what you have. Don't admire what other people have because you don't have the facts. You don't know what goes around in their house. Number 88. Ombilo mu ombila. I mean, so you have one, two, diarrhea. So do your best. Don't be mindful. Don't mind other people, the onlookers. Yeah, because their eyes will not consume or eat you. So even if other people are looking at what you're doing, 
do your best. Don't be intimidated by the eyes. Number 89. Old Tambire. Eoluduile. Well, this one basically talks about a person who watches a fight. It's more like he was fighting. He was involved in the fight as well. And it just emphasizes that the person who is present when something is happening always has the facts. Number 90. Musalu Aripe Samba. Well, circumstances change. Things will never be the same. Somebody who had a very low position tomorrow might be the king. Number 91. Nechpilingula chiratushan. So everybody needs some rest. Even the most hardworking people, they need rest. This one usually would happen if uh, maybe a part of the family, family is doing a lot of work and they think they need some rest. Or if you are given another task on top of what you are doing, then you would say, Oh, I need to rest. Number 92. Number 92. Well, this one basically talks about events. Well, of course, if you lose money in the house and then somebody who really has money starts spending a lot of money from nowhere, then that person is a suspect. Number 93, Amano. Mambulwa. So wisdom is like seeds. Anyone humble enough can get wisdom from others and ask for wisdom from others. So you can get wisdom from anywhere. It just depends on how humble you are. You can even get wisdom from the least expected places. Number 94. Amano uliweka tashinga uko ikoshi. Well, let's see who knows Bimba very much. If you can explain what this saying means in the comments section below. Number 95. Akafupote minwe. Eka shomu cheni. So, the bone you like the most will eventually hit you. Number 96. Akafumo tebutala. Akafumo tebutala. So your stomach is not a storehouse. So you can never save food in your stomach. You cannot eat a lot of food today and it keeps sustaining you for the next two or three months. No. You can only eat enough food for a few days. So your stomach is not a storehouse. Number 97, what twala pa wingi, tona ula. So don't keep your problem or worries to yourself. Seek help from others and you may just get the help you need. Number 98, umweni mukulu e pusukilo. So a visitor may bring relief. Number 19, wa lingo ko wa teminina. So when you have to do something, go ahead. Don't delay. Number 100, umulangi shiwa wan tu ala palamina. So to effectively teach someone, you need to be close. You cannot be teaching someone from afar. You need to be close and demonstrate how something is done. Number 101, so usually this applies to when you are cooking a meal, for example, Shima, 
you you cannot have just maybe a small milli meal and uh, you have a lot of water well it won't be hard enough so whenever you start a project a certain how much it will cost you you must count the cost number one zero two so if you don't fish, you don't eat. So you should work hard in order to eat or to enjoy good things. Number one zero three. Well, this basically means that a person who takes or who sips soup will never get thin but well in our setup as we were growing up usually this uh, used to mean that don't waste food for example if um, soup is left and then nobody's getting it they say they would say Impiyamu to show that you're supposed to get the soup sip it so finish everything even soup Number one zero four. Yeah, so this one, yeah, I like at the point that we, we need to discuss death or what will happen when uh, maybe a family member dies. So don't be scared to mention death. Number one zero five. Who is good in Bemba? Please help us with. The meaning of this comment in the, or rather the meaning of these uh, proverbs in the comment section below. Number one zero six. Umuli mo shishi tabau tuala kuko, o umuli mo shishi ve tabau tuala kumuko kuko. So this basically means that if you don't know how to do something, you cannot go to your in-laws and then try to to do something you don't know. So basically don't pursue things you're not experienced in. Number one zero seven. Ichikuishiwe tachukuria chikupuisha. This is the equivalent in English of the devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. Number one zero eight. This one basically shows that hardships or suffering uh, leads to wisdom. When you experience a lot of suffering, uh, basically you learn lessons from it and it gives you wisdom. Number 109. So, you know, sisters who share everything, even a small thing like a groundnut. So you can always share even the smallest things. Number one, ten. Inshikuta, shichela mumu. So every day is different. Number one, eleven. Ukulabe sembe pakoveya. So this one is actually comes from a story of a man. He goes yeah, to his field to farm and then when he's at the farm he realizes that he has forgotten the axe. Yeah. He goes back to the village and then he's asking people, oh, where, where is my axe? And they tell him that, oh actually it's on your shoulder. So sometimes we may lose things, uh, even on our side. And I'm sure some of you have done this before. You have your pen in your hand and you're looking for it. Or you have got your car keys and you're trying to find them. So sometimes you can even forget where things you're holding are. Number one, twelve. Ukupendin tanda kwangwa. So you cannot manage to count the stars. So everyone has limitations. So we cannot do everything we want. So all of us 
have some limitations. Number one, fifteen. Ukulila masukupa mutwe. So if they say, "Mara dila bana wapa masukupa mutwe," ukulila masukupa mutwe. It means someone is taking advantage of the other person. Number one, fourteen. Ukulambulu ayangwe na maka. Ukulambulu ayanga na maka. So when starting a new project, be sure you have the capacity to finish it. Number one fifteen. Well, for this one, it's not so friendly. So, well, I won't finish it. It's up to you to finish it. The last two actually. So, special one show. The number one sixteen. Mushewa. Well, so these are some of the Zambian sayings, or the sayings in Bemba, to be specific. What's your language? Is it Chewa? Is it Lozi? Is it Tonga? Is it Lunda? Well, in the comments sections below, please share with us. The common sayings, the common proverbs in your language, and what they mean. Thanks for watching.